The U.S. president on Thursday sent a letter to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi calling off her travel plans just before she was set to depart on a three-nation visit. Quote, due to the shutdown, I'm sorry to inform you that your trip to Brussels, Egypt, and Afghanistan has been postponed. The message from President Trump appears to be punitive in retaliation for Pelosi's request a day earlier that Trump postpone the State of the Union address until a partial government shutdown is resolved. The Democratic speaker suggested the annual address be rescheduled or delivered in writing. Pelosi defended that request Thursday. We're saying let's get a date when government is open. Let's pay the employees. Maybe he thinks it's okay not to pay people who do work. I don't. Trump appears to have taken it personally, and he responded in kind. The president's letter denied Pelosi the use of military aircraft, stating, obviously, if you would like to make your journey by flying commercial, that would certainly be your prerogative. Nancy Pelosi's deputy chief of staff pointed out on Twitter that Trump had in fact flown to Iraq in the middle of the shutdown. The Secret Service officers who would protect the State of the Union are currently working without pay. The Defense Department that would have flown Pelosi across the world is fully funded. A wall has to be built. We need security at our southern border. Earlier in the day, Donald Trump showed no signs of budging from his position that he would not reopen government until Democrats agreed to put $5.7 billion toward a wall on the border with Mexico. The federal government remains shut down because congressional Democrats refuse to approve border security. Without meaningful negotiations to end the impasse, the sides appear moving further from efforts at persuasion and toward outright coercion. As the White House and lawmakers trade attacks, the hardship grows daily for the 800,000 federal employees who are furloughed or working without pay. On Thursday, the Boston Globe reported that former Trump...